if my account was frozen with Bank of Cyprus, for example, I can just pick up, speak to my account manager. So, you know, the, there's pros and cons. The, the pros over here that I can see is with the Bank of Cyprus, I would have been able to reach somebody who knows me personally and then resolve my problem quicker. Um, so yeah, but would you do? Because uh, the person who is sitting at the teller desk is obviously capable to do so much, right? So you still do need to go through that compliance officer who is sitting somewhere hidden in the uh, in the ivory castle of the bank's headquarter mm-hmm. and making decisions over death and life, uh, which is the same situation with the with the neo banks as well. Now you're describing a problem which is very very common, and uh, I hear this all the time. And it's not only about the personal level, but think about if you had a company and the company's account gets blocked. Now obviously it seriously affects your operation, uh, your capability to have a good reputation with your supplier. With your clients. Imagine that your main account as a business is frozen for months, but even just for weeks. What is the damage that it causes you? Now, it could close you down. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And um, we are living in a world that we can change so much. So it's clever to think about how to adopt to the existing situation than change the world. Because I can talk about for years how to change the world and why is it bad, but obviously this is not what we are here for. We all know those kind of conversations. What we need to focus is what we can change. In your personal experience, as well as if you're facing the same situation, if you're a business, what you can do is to get ready for the worst case scenario. And not many people do. So if you have a Revolut account, have another one as well. It could be an online bank. It could be, as you mentioned, Bank of Cyprus. Have alternatives. So you are not forced in a situation when you're asking for a loan from a family member or a friend just to survive, right? Just to be able to buy food. In the same way, companies do need to plan ahead. And they need to understand that this situation can hit at any given moment. It's a whole different conversation of whose fault is that. Is it Revolut and customer service or whatnot? But your responsibility as a business owner to make sure that if this happens, it poses the minimum amount of risk on your operation and you still be able to manage the business flow. Now, that's one thing. The other thing is that, um, as you mentioned, that neobanks are really paying focus, uh, paying attention and, and, and focus on the customer service, which is nowadays everywhere. So wherever you go, it's not only the fintech companies and the financial services, it's basically everything. So if you go to um, to Twitter or you go to Instagram and you start bad-mouthing any of the company, the customer service department immediately jumps on that and they need to resolve the problem because that creates uh, more damage to the company than not to handle that and obviously the reputation goes down. Um, this is what we see with, uh, with large other companies uh, who are now paying attention to uh, being politically correct, you know, diversifying their management, uh, uh, being on the, on the right side of the politics and uh, not uh, uh, damage the environment and whatnot. So this is all uh, coming together as, as a new wave of uh, presenting yourself as a company out there. So obviously Revolut is, is not that different. But if you see, um, they they are obviously trying to minimize the costs. And as you said, that you might actually go to Bank of Cyprus and then the teller uh, is, is trying to help you. Um, can be, yes, very, very frustrating. And I think the biggest problem here is that people, if you don't see the person that you're dealing with, you don't feel safe that what if my account stays frozen forever? Meanwhile, you think, which could be right or might not be right, that if you're camping in front of Bank of Cyprus long enough, then they will release your funds. Mm-hmm. But uh, deep down on the operational level of the of the bank, which could be neo bank, a traditional bank or any other financial institution, they still need to go through all those um, regulatory um, uh, requirements, uh, which is update your passport and utility bill and whatnot, which allows them to release your funds. So your front end might have a limited view of 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 of, of maybe give you a, a bad um, perception, uh, which might not be correct. That how much you can do from your end. But overall, it is basically the same procedure for Bank of Cyprus as well as Revolut to unlock your funds and and ask more questions on that. If you liked that video and you want to watch the full episode, it's available here. Remember to like, subscribe and share. It helps the channel.